Hello guys, welcome to another gameplay video. This tank is the ISU-152. Uh, Russians in World War II used it to assault positions that were fortified and to knock turrets off the top of tag tanks. So, seeing it's a 152mm cannon, the concussion when it fires is going to be huge. Wait and see. Watch go! Russian tank destroyers are all about stealth and staying out of the fight, but being able to shoot into it. They don't have much armor, they don't deflect many shots, there is no turret, so expect this tank to sit in the back and to wail on people whenever they show up. Getting hit by this tank is probably one of the biggest attitude adjusters inside of World of Tanks. You get hit by it, you get scared. Now that guy doesn't know what hit him, but he's counting his lucky stars right now. Now, I'm usually much more conservative and much more accurate with this, but, um, yeah, I, I had not played in a while, so, <laughs> um, it does get good, though, I promise. And that bug was reintroduced in the 8.0 patch, where apparently, uh, you can penetrate, but with no damage. Some people say you're hitting a component, but, uh, yeah, he seems fine to me. We've hit them hard. Look at him run. This has to be the stupidest patent drive I've ever seen. Sorry, Stubby, but it's true. You get ahead like that and you sit there, expect a second one.
saw that spark effect that appeared on the number. I think that's uh, an ammo rack hit, meaning he would have been dead anyways. I so wanted to pull the trigger right now, but uh, these things are almost too grand to shell, so decided against it. This is an example of what not to do with this tank destroyer. We've lost the track. Case in point. Now that life lobby slow over my head was the sixth sense going off. It means somebody has you in their crosshairs. It's an acquired skill and it saved my ass a lot. I really didn't learn my lesson either. Not bad. Well, could do better, but we'll see. Got more videos to upload.